Welcome to Cook 30 for Kids. I'm Chef Jeremy Dixon from the Revive Cafes in Auckland, New Zealand. In the next 30 minutes, I'm going to share with you some great chef skills. I'm going to teach you how to chop, how to add flavours, different ingredients and garnish things so they not only taste great but look amazing. And the best part about Cook 30 for Kids is today I have two wonderful assistants to help me in the kitchen. Welcome to Xander and Caitlin. So where are you guys from? Ottawa, Tennessee. Tennessee? O-Ruta? Ottawa. 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 Oh, that sounds really interesting. Close to Chattanooga. Close to Chattanooga, excellent. And, um, and how old are you, Xander? Twelve. Twelve. And um, do you have any hobbies at all? I like to play piano, violin and trumpet. Wow, which one's your favourite? Piano. Piano, excellent, that's great. And um, Caitlin, um, how old are you? I'm 11. 11, and um, do you have any hobbies? I play some instruments too. Yeah, which ones? I play the harp, the piano, the violin and the flute. Four instruments. Well, you're an orchestra all by yourself. And which one's your favourite? The harp and the flute. The harp, no, which one's your favourite? Both of them. You must have one favourite. I have two favourites. You must surely one favourite. I have two favourites. Okay, I'll let you away with that. Well, that's great. Do you guys get up to anything else? We like to swim. Swim, yes. Um, do you swim in the sea? There's no sea close to where we live. Oh, you're right. Tennessee's landlocked, isn't it? So no sea. So obviously in swimming pools and <laughs> possibly lakes. That's great. And um, you guys, what school do you guys go to? We go to Ottawa Adventist School. Great. And what grade are you? In seventh grade. 7th grade too. Seventh grade. And do you have any friends there? It's a new school, so we haven't made um, friends yet. He's working on it, but I'm still trying to figure things out. Great. Is there one friend you want to say hi to? Well, I have a friend back where I used to live, yes. and her name is Kaya. Well, wave to her. Hi, hi Kaya. Kaya. Hello. That's great. Yep, so what else, uh, Xander? And um, my friend, my best friend is um, Joshua Atwood. Joshua Atwood. Let's wave to Joshua. Hi, Joshua. Hi. Well, welcome to Cook 30 for Kids, guys. It's great to have you. We're going to cook up a storm today. So let's see what's on the menu. We have Omega Asian Tofu and Sweet Potato Salad with Cashew Aioli and a Cherry Berry Banana Smoothie. That's wonderful. Don't they sound delicious? And the salad today we're cooking is not just another normal salad. This isn't just lettuce and carrots. We're cooking a salad that is a meal full of yummy, yummy things. So you ready? Yeah. So before we start in the kitchen, there's really important we start with a nice clear surface. We've got our, our pan on the stove, we've got our ingredients out, got our blender plugged in, and the oven's turned on as well. Have you washed your hands? Yeah. yeah. Fantastic. Well, let's get into it. So we're going to start with the thing at the beginning that's going to take the longest to cook because obviously you want to make sure you're planning for these type of things. So we've got some sweet potato here and um, this is going to perform an, a part of the salad. So I'll start the hard part off for you. So I'm just going to chop the ends off and I'm going to just put it into slices like this with a sharp knife. Now when you're cutting, notice how I'm actually sliding the knife through. So we're not chopping down because that's really hard. You want to make sure you're sliding the knife through and that way it's much easier and much safer. Like that. So um, perhaps Caitlin, if you want to then chop this into little, like that, and then chop it into like little little squares and put them on that tray there. How's that? Okay. So sharp knife to be really, really careful. If you can put it on there. Oh, before we do, I'm just going to put some, can you rip some parchment paper off and uh, put that on the tray? And you can uh, cook that there. That's great. So How much? So slide it through. Just enough to go on the tray so it can, um, can cover it. So see if you can rip that off. Oop, try and keep these things away, that's great. It's quite tough this stuff, isn't it? Yeah. That's cool, throw it on the tray as we go. Just rip the end off and uh, throw it on the tray. Cool, looking good, that's great. So sweet potato is a really lovely ingredient to have in a salad. It's really nice and soft and squishy and tastes really good. Oop, they're jumping on the floor, are they? No worries, oh no, don't, yeah, throw that in the rubbish bin. Very good, look at that. And it's really good to use parchment paper or baking paper 
because that way after we're finished we don't have to do so much cleaning of the tray which is a really good thing because guess who's cleaning up after today guys huh guess who's cleaning up after today these guys are going to do all my cleaning for me it's going to be great so keep watching you've got a knife that's very careful we'll just keep chopping those excellent we'll put it on there excellent doing a great job there we've nearly got that finished Xander, if you want to grab this oil and if you want to sprinkle a little bit of that on top of the um the sweet potato that's great so we just want a little bit of oil lovely look at that yep that's about enough and um, just just give it a bit of a, a mingle mingle around with your hands so it kind of gets mixed well just get the knife out the way excellent and we'll just put a little bit of salt on top like this it's a great start look out coming through keep it mixing well can you hold the paper yep just keep organizing it that's great lovely just a quick mix with a little bit of olive oil you don't need too much oil we're not deep frying here great so Xander if you want to throw that put that in the oven and um, we'll get that underway that only takes around about 15 minutes to cook give your hands a good wipe top or bottom we'll clear up. Uh, top in the top oven please that's great okay so that's the first job over so we're now going to do some tofu so if you can um, pass the tofu so if you want to uh, perhaps um, see if you can we'll just um, take open it here if you want to just drain it out in the sink and Xander I'll get Xander I'll get you to um, chop it up into cubes so tofu is a really good plant-based ingredient it can taste really really boring do you like tofu at all that's great but you've got to kind of give it a bit of cooking up you kind of can't eat it raw sorry look at that so Xander throw this away yep throw that away so Xander we'll just, I'll just start it for you so we'll just kind of cut it up into cubes so if you want to cut it up cut it up into squares so cut across that way and then cut across the other way into cubes lovely that's great cool excellent look out for your thumbs really sharp knives it's really important to really watch what you're doing nice slicing that's beautiful and then you can turn it round like this and you can slice the other way and that's a really good chef's tip to be able to save time because you don't want to be slicing every little bit of a bit of tofu individually cool keep your thumb out of the way you're doing a great job there wonderful so I'll just turn the gas on here excellent so if you want to put it in the, in the pan there and um, Caitlin if you want to put some olive oil in as well just put a little drizzle in the pan just to help it cook a little bit just around here yep just just in there that's brilliant and just a little bit more a little bit more it's probably around about two teaspoons great and if you want to start uh, stirring it around and mixing around that'd be great okay so we've got the two most important things underway because these are the things that are cooked and the cooked things take the longest so once these are underway we've kind of ready to, to start the start the cooking so just clear the board and clear the knife that's looking great guys what do you think so tofu and sweet potato underway so the next job is we need to start making the salad so we're going to present it in this really nice big salad dish doesn't this look beautiful yeah so a nice big white dish is always really good for um to making all the colors pop out really really nicely so we'll get if you, is that, if you want to open up the lettuce so today we're just using like a lettuce blend mix so we're using a, um, a combination of i think it's got um spinach and spring mix leaves and different things so any kind of you know good supermarket fresh spring mix is really really good look at that that's looking very fresh now see how that's kind of actually it's looking a bit wilted and what you can do is what we'll do is just get some get some water just get some water in your hands from the sink and we'll just sprinkle it over so just get just a little bit of water we'll just we'll just I'll show you just a little bit in your hands and just sprinkle it over like that and just give it a little bit of mix around and just see how in a couple of seconds just a little bit of water just makes that just all beautiful and fresh and brings it all alive that's great so if you want to put some on the um, on this on the salad thing there on the base and this will form the base of our salad and it's really just a nice healthy green way of getting some great color in there brilliant yep spread it out probably one more handful we don't want to go too overboard get some of that purple stuff as well look at that it's a great base for our salad so on top of that we're going to add, add lots and lots of different flavors brilliant well, if you want to put that away in the fridge that'd be brilliant so we've got this is all coming here so Xander do you, want to, do you want to give that a bit of a stir and just keep that turning over so you just need to just come back to it make sure it doesn't burn 
and it's looking really, really cool. It's great, well done. So we've got a good start to our meal. So what's next on the list? Don't these guys look really, really colourful? Yeah. So if you want to keep stirring that, Xander, and um, what we want to do is add some of these. So these are cherry tomatoes. And the good thing about cherry tomatoes is you can get different colours. What do you think? What's your favourite? I like the red ones. The red ones, that's really cool. So we'll just put some of them out here. So if you can just chop them into half, they're kind of quite nice when you chop them in half. Oop, yep, that's good, wonderful. So keep your eye on the knife. Just keep this oh, looking really good. That's brilliant. So chopping things in half is, is a quite, with cherry tomatoes, it just makes them quite, taste nicer and easy to bite through. Yep, take your time, there's no rush there at all. Is this good? Sorry? Yep, just keep stirring, it'll keep needing to be stirred, so just keep going well. That's brilliant, looking great. So this tofu will start to brown up and um, become really nice and flavoursome. I'm also going to add some salt as well. So adding around about half a teaspoon of salt, because tofu needs a little bit of flavour. Yep, there you go, keep stirring. And everything's coming along really, really well. Okay, that's a really good technique. So basically hold the cherry tomato from its each side and that makes it safe to put the blade through of the knife. Looking fantastic. Okay, if you want to sprinkle those over there, Caitlin, over the salad. Just sprinkle the randomly. So when you're putting things in salads, you, you never want to press things down. You want to just kind of casually drop things and let things kind of fall naturally. That's kind of the way things generally work best with salads and a lot of meals. Just let things fall naturally. That's wonderful. Spread them out around there. And as you can see, we've got greens, we've got purples, and what other colours have we got there? Yellow and yep. red. And red, that's awesome. How's the tofu going, Xander? Good. Is it getting browning up a little bit? Yes. Cool. So when you're stirring, stir it really gently. You don't want to break it up into pieces, so just that's looking good. So just keep it, keep it moving, and that's great. And that stops it from burning. So we've got lettuce and tomatoes. So what's next? What's this here? An avocado. Do you like avocado? Yes. Aren't they the most amazing vegetable? Actually, they're not a vegetable, they're a... Fruit. They're a fruit, exactly. I've heard a saying once, basically a, um, an intelligent person knows that a avocado is a fruit, but a wise person knows not to put it in a fruit salad. <laughs> Here's the thing. So I'll just do the first bit of the avocado, because this is the hardest and the most dangerous. So basically cut it in half, you probably want to get your mum to do this, because I've actually cut myself doing this, so basically you're going to grab the, the stone, twist it, whoop, try it again, twist it and it pops off like that safely, so that's probably the most dangerous part. So see if you can peel the avocado off, I'll do this one and you can do that one, and we'll just peel it off like this. So how often do you have avocado at home? Um, we have it pretty much, we like it a lot. Oh that's great. That's one of my favourite fruit, well, vegetable fruit things. And Xander, do you like tofu? Yeah. How do you have tofu at home? Yes. What sort of dishes would you have it in? Um, scrambled tofu. Scrambled like tofu? This, like this. Yes. Or cube, that's great. So it's a really good um, plant-based um, protein to have in any meal. Oh, that was quick, you've got those done. So if you want to slice those into, dice this as well. I'll show you how to do it first. It's basically just, basically just dice it like that, dum, dum, dum. And then go dum 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 dum. You can make sound effects if you want to. <laughs> cool, so be very careful, wonderful. Cool. Nice big chunks, wonderful. And you can turn it around. <sighs> Again with knives, be really, really safe and you know, look after them. Keep keep focused. Great. Wonderful. Cool. That's great. And now we'll um that's all that no, that's enough. Yep, that's cool. You want to keep them nice and big and chunky. Get this off here. And if you want to sprinkle it over there as well. Isn't that wonderful? Avocado. Avocado goes amazing in any salad. Oh, look at that. It's browning up, isn't it? Look at these lovely bits of tofu. Lovely, nice and golden brown. So that's probably about halfway through. I'm trying to like, turn it around or something. That's brilliant. Excellent. I'll show you a chef's trick as well. One thing you can do is you, basically you can actually see if you can wiggle it and see if you can toss it up like that. Give that a go. So basically you want to go it round in the loop and toss it. See if you can give that a go. See if that's going to work. See if you can land it, most of it in the pan. <laughs> that's okay. Just a little wiggle is fine. You don't have to toss it. So just give it a little wiggle and that's uh, just like this. And that's, that's another way of getting it kind of cooking evenly as well. 
excellent. Well, we're underway really, really well, doing a good job. And the next ingredient we're going to use is figs. And you're probably thinking, why are you using figs in a salad? But figs are one of my favourite fruit. Do you like figs? Yes. They're great. Have you had fresh, fresh figs? Yeah, we had a, there was a tree around where we lived yeah. um, once. That's great. Now, fresh figs are nice, but you can't normally get them, so we're going to use dried figs. And all we're going to do here is just, again, slice them up. Now, this is a bit tricky, so I might do this one. So basically, just slice them like this. Get your mum to do that into little slices. And look at those beautiful, beautiful little seeds there. Aren't those beautiful? Yeah. They're nice and crunchy. So if you if you're, um, slice them up like this. So does this look like it's going to be delicious? Yes. Now that's brilliant. You just get that chopped like this. If you want to start sprinkling those around on the um, on the on the salad. So again, lots of colour, lots of different textures, and we're just dropping things on there as well. So if you don't like figs, you can use any other kind of dried fruit that you want as well. If you've just joined us on Cook 30 for Kids, we are cooking up a storm in the kitchen today. We have Xander and Caitlin from Tennessee, and on the menu we have... Some mega Asian tofu and sweet potato salad with cashew aioli, and a cherry berry banana smoothie. Doesn't that sound yummy? Things are going well, so if you want to get the um, the kumara out of sorry the sweet potato kumara is what they call it in my country, New Zealand. Sweet potato out of the oven, that'd be great. And we're going to add some flavourings to this wonderful tofu dish. So if you want to um, throw in some honey, just a drizzle of honey, it's great. And no, it'll, it'll come through. Just give it a squirt in there. Lovely, it's great. Keep going. So probably around about a tablespoon of honey. Put in um, some, some tamari or soy sauce. So you can use either one of these. This gives us a nice saltiness. The honey gives us a nice sweetness. So give it a bit of a squeeze over. Lovely. It's a bit more, a bit more. Cool, it's going to sizzle a bit. Cool. Give it a bit of a stir out. And some sesame seeds as well. Just going to sprinkle over some sesame seeds. And I'm also going to put on um, some lemon juice as well. We're just going to squeeze over some lemon juice through my fingers, give that a bit of a stir around. And that'll just make this tofu taste amazing. So just probably about one tablespoon of lemon juice, and that'll be great. Look at that. So we can turn that down now, just give it a quick stir, and uh, we'll, we'll put this in here shortly. So now we're going to make a cashew and lime aioli. Do you know what an aioli is? No. It's kind of like a dressing, a, a, a dressing with garlic in it, effectively. Oh. And most dressings use things like lots of oils and lots of egg yolks and things. But this is an aioli that's made of cashew nuts. Sound yummy? Yeah. So if you want to measure a cup and a half of cashew nuts into the blender. Sorry? Done stirring. So keep, keep stirring just so oh, it doesn't burn. Just a little bit more. It'll, it'll um, be finished shortly. Oh, right, just pour into here. So into this cup here. Oh. Here we go. And also under your chopping board, make sure you have a nice tea towel and that stops from moving. So there's another chef's tip for you. So a cup and a half, so that's probably up to about here. Keep going, keep going, keep going. Whoa! Okay, put that in, just don't put all of them in. We'll put some back, how's that? That's about a cup and a half, there we go. Put that in there. That's the number one ingredient. We're also gonna put in, um, do you wanna measure out a teaspoon of coriander? So measure out a t t sorry, two teaspoons of coriander. Um, I'll put the lime juice in. Put it in. Yep, that's great. That's good. Yep, that's looking good there. I think that's excellent. That's looking beautiful. Done, done. Okay, if you want to put some mustard in, we've got some seedy mustard. We want about a tablespoon. So if you can open that and squirt it in. Oh, you can turn the heat off there now. Turn it off to we'll turn it off to off. That should be finished going with the tofu. Do I put it in? Just there? just squeeze it in, and I'll tell you where to stop. Squeeze it in. Lovely. Seeded mustard's nice. Yep, that's about right. Throw in the water. We've got half a cup of water. And we'll also throw in some, some lime juice. I'll just squeeze it in here. So we want about three tablespoons of lime juice. It adds a really, really nice limey kind of flavour. Um, do you want to put in half a teaspoon of salt? There's a little thing there. So put in half, a, half of one of those. And I think that's all the ingredients we have for the for the okay. dressing. Yep, perfect. Oh, and a clove of garlic. So we've got a clove of garlic here. So I'll put him in as well. 
and let's put the lid on and let's go blend. Hit the go button. Yeah. Woohoo! This is a lovely dressing to have on any salad and it's really, really healthy. Keep going, keep going, keep going. Look at that. I think that should be nearly done. A little bit more. Okay, stop it. It's a little bit thick. We might just add a little bit more water. So we'll just add a bit more water in here. And if you want to go again, just a little bit, just so it has a nice kind of thick kind of pouring consistency. So hit the go button. Lovely. Excellent. Perfect. Yep, turn it off. So we've got a beautiful, lovely dressing here that we can use to drizzle over our, um, our salad we're about to do shortly. So let's assemble the salad. We've done everything. We've got the base there. So um, if you want to put some of the kuma on there, just, um, just kind of grab it and, and sprinkle it over. It's a little bit hot, so we'll just kind of throw it over. And again, you want to just, um, just sprinkle it over. And I'll just, I'll use this as a bit hot. I'll just spoon this over like this. And we'll just spoon this lovely tofu. Oop, drop one. Look at that salad. That's a great salad. So we'll just um, remove the, the tray here. And what else goes on it? We're going to finish it off with some mint. So if you want to grab the mint there, we're just going to grab some mint. Mint is a lovely flavour for salads. I'm just going to chop it up quickly. Just like that, just chop it up in nice big chunks and sprinkle it over. Actually, before we do, we're going to put the aioli over. And what we do is we just grab the aioli and we just drizzle it like that so you get nice look it doesn't it look beautiful with the um just the nice streaky bits there there you go and we put this on top a sprinkle of the mint just like that just drop it from a height and doesn't that look like that would be the most amazing salad ever what do you think looks beautiful eh well done guys so we'll just put that to the side because we've only got a couple of minutes left and what are we making next smoothie the smoothie yes so we'll just use another blender so if you guys want to, if you want to get some berries from the fridge and the milk, and we can start the smoothie. Have a quick tidy up here. It's always good to keep a nice tidy counter. So making a smoothie is really easy, and once you've made one, they're really, really good. So um, Xander, if you can just put some berries in. So you probably want about a cup of berries each, so I'll get you a little serving cup that you can put them in about a cup each and if you can grab two bananas from over there and peel them and throw them in as well so all it is to make a smoothie is just putting fruit and some milk into a blender and frozen fruit is really good because it gives a really nice kind of icy taste and it's really nice and thick just probably pour it out into the cup would be easiest um, and we're using blueberries and cherries today but you can use any kind of fruit that you want the banana adds a lot of thickness and a little bit of sweetness as well Yep, fire that in. Nice one. You got them all in the cup, well done. Yep, just put them in like that. So two bananas, two cups of berries. And I'll put the milk in. So any milk that you want, I'm using almond milk today. So we'll put around about a cup of almond milk in. You may have to adjust the amount of liquid you put in um, because sometimes it may end up being too thick or too thin. You got it there? Oh, lovely, perfect. Look at those beautiful cherries. Okay, put the lid on. And uh, press the go button. Ready? Three, two, one, go! Woohoo! Look at that go. Okay, you can push stop. And that is a smoothie ready to go. So we'll just, I'll just pour it in the glasses. And as you can see, that is going to be an amazing, delicious smoothie. Check it out. Cherries and blueberries. So what do you think, guys? You looking forward to having that? Yes. Oh, that's great. Oops, that one's a little bit on the low side, but never mind. So there we have. We've got this beautiful salad here with all those yummy, yummy ingredients. We've got a smoothie here. Do you think you guys can make that again? Yes. Yes. Pretty easy. That's brilliant. So I hope you can, can look at that at home. It, as cooking is really easy, give it a go. The first time it might take a little bit longer, but stick at it and you'll get to learn some really, really good cooking skills. 
So thank you for joining me today, Caitlin and Xander. Have you had fun? Yes. yes. We better try this food, hadn't we? Yes. We've been cooking it for the last half hour. We'll get this beautiful salad on there. Here we go, we'll get a couple of scoops each. Look at these wonderful flavours. This is not just your ordinary salad with carrots and lettuce. This is packed full of tofu, sweet potato, figs, and the lovely dressing. So what are you liking there? What's nice there, Caitlin? The tofu. Yeah, yeah, it's really nice, isn't it? You enjoying it there? Well, we've got to try the smoothie as well. Give the smoothie a go. Mmm. Mmm, the cherry and the berries is fantastic. With all the new skills that you've learned today, you can turn your home kitchen into a world-class restaurant. Thank you for joining us today, and we look forward to seeing you next time on Cook 30 for, for Kids. kids.